What I want to focus on for this video is discussion lists in a SharePoint team site. So here I am on my team site and what you'll find here is that at the moment there are no options for a discussion list. Now we need to add that because it's not a standard component that's already part of a team site by default. So to add a component we go into site contents here on the left hand side in a quick launch menu and then what we'll find is is that we need again to go in and select the option to add an app. So this is going to add the discussion list item app to our SharePoint site. So again all we need to do is basically work through the apps that are available to us and again there are a number of standard ones and there are also some ones that have been added from the SharePoint store. Now what you'll find in here is the option for a discussion board. So we select that app to add it and let's call this um, discussion list customer follow-up so we know what it's all about and we'll simply go create. Now what that will do is it will add the app to our team site as you can see here and it will also list it under recent in the quick launch menu. So we can get to the customer to the discussion list simply by selecting it um, from either location and here we are in our customer follow-up. So what I'm going to do basically now is just create a new discussion. So what I'll go do is go in here and ask a question basically um, something like how are we going with Contoso order? Okay so again um, I can I can put in here exactly what I'm after um, so let me just pause the video while I add some text to that. Okay, you can see that I've filled in the text in the body here. What I can do is uh, select it and let it know that it is a question. So it's a question being asked to other members. Now, you'll notice that when I start typing in the text here, you'll see that the ribbon bar becomes exposed. So this gives me a number of um, editing options. So for example, I can go in here and I can make that bold and I could for example change the color and maybe make it some other color to highlight that information. But you've got the full range of, of editing options available to you from the ribbon. Now once I've done that I'll select save and that will save a new discussion um, to that discussion list for me. Now if I select that I'll go in there and you'll see basically um, the question that I've put asked and I can go in there obviously and reply and edit it if I want and using the ellipse there are some additional options. Now one of the options may be um, something like alert me so what alert me will do is it will set up uh, an email notification for when something changes. So if you've asked a question and you're not in here regularly checking you may want to go in there and set up an email alert to let you know when someone does update some information. So again that is the uh, discussion list. What we'll do is we can obviously go in and we can add uh, more discussions, so different topics and you'll see that we have a number of different views. We can look at unanswered questions and my discussions but what we'll do now is we'll just wait and see if anybody replies to this. Okay so if we go back into our discussion now what we'll find is that we should in fact have an answer to our question or a reply at least. So yes we do. Um, you'll see that um, I've replied to Lewis's question and the information's down the bottom there. So Lewis can obviously go in here and he can make a further reply about um, all the information, to thanking the replier for that information. So that makes it nice and easy to keep track of exactly what's going on. So we can just uh, enter the reply here. Uh, for that and then go reply so that again that will close out that discussion if we so uh, elect to do that. Now you'll notice here that uh, what we can do is obviously if we can get a number of different replies um, to this question that we've asked and once we do get a lot of questions there what we want to do is probably close that question out to let people know that it has in fact um, been answered. So once we've got the reply that we want you'll see that we can obviously again go in and reply to these individually. We can edit them uh, if we have administrator rights but you'll notice here that if I pull down the ellipse I have the option to select this as a best reply. So again that 
then marks that as the best reply and answers my question. So in a nutshell what we need to do with discussions is, is we need to add an app into our SharePoint team site um, that will give us the ability to create uh, a number of new discussions so we can have a number of discussion topics that we want. Inside those discussion topics we can then have people conversing backwards and forwards and answering questions about the topics that are posed. Uh, we have the ability when we create a discussion item and the text in here to use the ribbon menu to add enhanced um, editing features, bold, underline and whatnot. So again very handy feature. Now the reason that you would use something like a discussion list is for a couple of reasons. Firstly um, it will reduce the amount of email because therefore all the discussions are made in SharePoint rather than being conducted directly in email. The second option is, is that all the information that you put in this SharePoint site is obviously indexed and can be searched. So again, in six months, 12 months, when you are looking for um, this sort of discussion, you can just do a search and it will pop up. So again, this is a great way to foster collaboration and to also move information out of being siloed with an email. So put it in a collaboration tool like SharePoint, share the information, ask the questions, get the replies, get all the people conversing together and sharing their knowledge in an area that everybody can access to. So that's the heart and soul of what discussions are in a SharePoint team site. Once again, I thank you very much for watching.